What's good YouTube? Welcome to the Spike Leak channel, you know what I'm saying? If you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you've been subscribed, you're one of my homies. If you want to become one of my homies, you gotta subscribe. For me. This is the waviest boss in the game since 998, Spike Leak, don't get it twisted. Today I'm here to show y'all my top 10 favorite ventures pieces that I have caught. I know y'all seen me vintage shop probably four times now, but I'm gonna show y'all all of my favorite vintage tees and I'm gonna tell y'all where I caught each of them. I have a whole drawer back there full of vintage tees. I got some vintage clothes in this closet right here. Pants, jackets, uh, button down shirts, tees. The list is endless. I really do have a lot of vintage clothes. I, have, I feel like I have more vintage clothes than I have regular clothes now. If you don't know me, uh, Online shopping low-key became like a big hobby of mine. Like I'm always online looking for different clothes and stuff. Most of my cops is rather from Grailed or one of the spots that I mentioned earlier. But let's get into the pieces right now. Let's go. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. See, that's how you do it, Express. First things first, I'm gonna talk about the shirt that I have on right now. This one I caught from Lance Freshness out, the Lance Freshness. I'm actually, I actually wore this the video the second time I went to Vintage Louisa, but I caught this the first time. Bro, these colors are wild on this shirt. Like, that's the reason I caught it. Like, it looks real colorful. It got the, it got all the colors I like. Like, it got the lavender, it got the teal. And got the blue, like bro, I could do so much with this shirt. And then on the back, that lightning on it, that shit looks fire. World of Outlaws, the ultimate rush. Wings hold him down, but nothing holds him back. To be honest, I don't know what the fuck it's talking about. Hey look, sometimes shit don't gotta relate to you all the time. It really don't. The stuff that it says on it, the team, sometimes the, like, you know, the colors can relate to you, you know, the aesthetic can relate to you, and that's, that's what I was going for. It relates to, like, the aesthetic that it got. Because the colors and how it looks, you know, the style. Yeah, you can relate to the style. That's, that's, that's me. I like this flannel. I think this is the one I caught from Thrift Store. He said it was like a 1960 something. This is a really nice wool flannel. I was in love with wool flannels. I still am low key, but I got too much. I don't want to have like, I don't want all my outfits to be, you know, wool and shit like that. But when I seen that, this was like a must cut. I don't know, this is just shit I love. Next up, we got this crazy, crazy, crazy race tee I got from Metropolis Vintage. Yeah, this one is like mad crazy. Like, that's something I always love was like the all over prints, the real, real crazy ass shirts. This is Texas Motor Speedway race tee. I got this like that 10 year anniversary or whatever. See, like the 10 year strong. It's just an all over print and this sh shit goes wild. Next up, I got this heavy as soft as cardigan, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. This is heavy as hell. I wish y'all could feel this. Y'all probably seen this. It was on my Instagram for my birthday two years ago. I actually went vintage shopping while wearing this vintage piece that I caught from Melrose. It was at this vintage store, which was my favorite store. It was called Flamingos. That's the store name. Ventures by the pound, Flamingos. If y'all watch that vlog, I was really looking around there and I looked up and I seen that and I was like, that's hard. That's hard. That card in there? It's like I froze and was just like, that's hard. I need that. And then I asked her the price and I was just like, okay, fuck it. Let's get it popping. And like, I'm all about that action. Come on, I'll pull my wallet out right now. Next up, we got this Ralph Lauren polo. This one goes crazy. I feel like I said that about all of them so far. Besides the shirt that I had on before this, I probably wear this the most. I probably gave this about like three wears. You know, when I really, really like something, I don't wear it a lot because I keep it on display. If y'all see, if y'all get, if y'all catch my dress, I need to put that other shirt on because this is not going with this. As I was saying though, um, I don't be wearing my pieces. I don't wear these pieces like that because I feel like there ain't no reason for me to be going so hard on people like that for on a daily basis. I wear it like if I know I'm going somewhere spectacular or uh, I'm going somewhere where I want to take pictures at. That's the only time I really get dressed like that for real. Bro, any other day, I'd be cool in, in my sense. I haven't worn this one yet, but it's this Marlins, Marlins Champions baseball tee right here. It's not really like the craziest 
thing in the world. The way it fits on me is very nice. And the outfits that I could get out of this shirt itself is really nice as well. That's why this is, this is why this made it to the top 10 list. 1997 shirt shows the team roster on the back. Florida Marlins won the league championship series. I, I can't support Tommy, but like Vince's Tommy just be too hard for me to leave alone. Really, it's not a flannel because it's like a regular shirt material, but I would wear it like it's a flannel. But it's this button down shirt. And as you see, it's like patchwork. This shit goes so hard to me. Oh my gosh. Obviously, it's patchwork and you can just do so much things with this. I need, I honestly need to bring it out more. I only wore it like twice. This is when we get into the heat. This is the top three of my list right now. Sheesh, the order is about to go nuts. There you go. Oh, this is a tough one. Honestly, these three, it's like any of them could be number one. That's the crazy thing about this. Like, I don't know how to put these in order. Damn, damn, damn. You got me there. One to three is just like one part one, one part two, and one part three. Cause all of them is like number one for real, for real. It's like very, very close. Like every time I look at them, I change my order. I'm gonna just show y'all my top three and y'all tell me the order that y'all will put in. This Tasmanian Devil shirt. This one is so crazy. Like all of, like I said earlier, I love the all over print tees. This one, one of my favorites. I might like it more. Oh, no. This one is one of my most recent fit pics on Instagram. This one is just hard, like, bro. The way the colors are fading, the way I love messing around with the colors, trying to, you know, play around with them, basically. You know what I'm saying? This one is a 1996. It's a free shirt. You know, I heard free shirt, so, like, the real deal. No. I was a big Looney Tunes fan growing up. Even the, um, baby Looney Tunes. I used to love that show. People used to be hating. Why y'all hating on little ass babies, bro? All they did was make the little Looney Tunes a little more adorable. And they took all the violence away from it. And now y'all hating. Like, what? What's the? What's the problem? I got this one from Grail. This is, I think, this is the second. The most expensive ones I got as well. This is a Charlotte Hornets tee. When I was growing up, I loved Chris Paul. Like, that's somebody, that's one of the players that I looked up to. AI was the biggest out of all of them that I looked up to. Tracy as well. When that time was over, Chris Paul was, when he was on the Hornets, that was my favorite nigga, bro, I'm trying to tell you. And I always loved Charlotte Hornets colors. So, this is another one that just related to me so much. Cause that's one of my favorite players teams and colors was here and it was an all over print it even complement my style too next up i have my most expensive vintage item so far button down christian dior shirt things first y'all know i had the cop it got palm trees on it i always keep a palm tree around my neck but if y'all didn't know Palm trees is something that I love so much. It just symbolizes positive vibes, positive aura. They got waves on it and all. It's just a wavy ass shirt for the waviest boss. Like, bro, if I can relate to something in this video, it's this shirt. He got the waves, he got the palm tree, he got the motherfucking shells. The color is crazy, bro. Oh my God. Y'all probably seen this on my Instagram as well. Rodeo Drive, taking pictures by the Gucci stuff. The shirt complimented the shoes, which complimented the whole fuck Gucci store. Bar, that's like one of my favorite pictures. Shout out to Kai. Love you so much. That's the top 10 list for my adventures pieces so far. Y'all haven't even seen the other pieces that I have. So y'all can't really say this belongs in the top 10. Y'all don't know what in here that might belong in this list. But that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece is from this video out of all these vintage pieces, Spike, Leak, and Kyle. Also, what order would you put the top three in? Because I honestly don't know. It's like all these are just... With that being said, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notifications on so you won't miss the act of litness coming from the Waviest Boss himself. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. We could be homies, bro. I hope you have a very blessed day, and I hope you receive a lot of blessings, money, and positivity for today, tomorrow, and forever. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Waviest Boss in the game since 1998. Fuck it, man. to play. Nothing more that I hate. In this life, the wrong impression, I only have one to make. You can open your
prom, waiting to catch a break. The cards will fall where they may. And what about me? 